So welcome guys and girls back to Conqueror's Play. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Pike Guard. What is this unit all about? Why is this unit so good? First of all, our Pike Guard is an full arms unit. That means it has a long pike. It is a 4 star purple unit that you can unlock through unit tree. It has leadership of 240 and it has strength of 28. Let's get into the veteran scene first of all. So we have two veterans lines, we have the top line and we have the bottom line. So let's talk about the top line. The top line is our damage line which gives you the extreme damage dealing capabilities. With its last perk being the most notable, gives you the ability to strike two un enemy units, the single strike of them. The top line is best for doing XV tactics, however it is not recommended with this certain unit. The weakness of the top line is you won't be able to survive most of the times for doing a second walk so which is where our bottom line comes into action the bottom line gives you the capability of extreme defense with its last note giving you flat 20% defense on all across See, all across that's a lot of defenses so bottom line gives you the ability to do multiple non for its survivability and it's for its brace tactics yes you can brace and then you can take the charge head on or you can use your a walk skill but no XP tactics definitely not recommended for the bottom line and the top scale will give you ability that cannot be stunned by ordinary attacks while advancing so when your unit is advancing normal attacks cannot stun them until the walk is over however in the bottom line it gives you the ability to do the bracing tactics and they won't be stunned through normal attacks which is why these are great for the bottom line is great for bracing and taking on head on charges so we have the three formations with our pike guard the first one being dispersed great for taking enemy range fire because they have a wide formation it is this formation is great for walking onto large amount of enemies doing a large area attack Second formation is our line formation. This is geared for blocking off a large area. You can use it to do a wide area walk towards enemies, clearing off the points. You can place your bikes by facing their backs towards the wall and then bracing them and then letting the cab walk through you. I mean, through the bikes. Our third and the last formation is our children formation or you can call it easily a circle formation. It is best for locking down small areas. It is best for protecting your allies from rare attacks. It is great for focusing attack on an enemy. And it has a close it is a really the smallest closest formation this unit has. So our pike guard has some noticeable traits. First of all, let's start with the fireproof armor. That means they will take a very small amount of damage from the fire. They have heavy armor. As you already know they have very heavy armors. I mean they take way less damage. You know how it is. Then we have cavalry have no chance. Yes, as you can see, cavalry don't survive this unit. Then we have relentless. The walk on those peasants. Don't sleep. Now let's talk about our unit orders. We have two unit orders with our pike guard. First one being the brace or stand farm in this case. This is basically a brace. You go into the, your brace mode in any of the formations on in non-formation and then you know the rest then we have the advance so the main capability of the advance is they just walk over anything that is in front of them nothing can stop them except heroes and this few units yes but most of the units will just walk over cavalry they don't stand a chance any cavalry they will die except one cavalry all right if you're just starting with this unit you don't have all these fancy legendary doctrines it's fine don't worry about it just put slap anything this is basic main damage you can slap anything you want but if you're a high level player i recommend two types of system doctrine that i use myself first of all focuses on the top line which gives them the ability to annihilate the enemy and the second of all the bottom line which gives them the ability to do the brace tactics very effectively otherwise you can mix and match anything you like it's all up to you I hope you like this video, if you wanna know about more tactics and how to use them effectively in battle, here's a video for you. And also, here's a simple montage for you, 
compiling all of these tactics. See you in the next one.